It's Time Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Palmer. And since Jerome Horton is back, he is chair of California's Board of Equalization. And sir, I want to speak with you about our senior citizens. Yes, ma'am. And there are certain programs which allow senior citizens who may be struggling a bit economically to avoid the city, the county, the state from coming in and taking their home for failure to pay property tax. Yes, exactly. Talk to us about what's now known as AB 2231. AB 2231 allows a senior citizen to actually defer paying their property tax. What basically happens is, is that it allowed the controller to come in and pay the property taxes on behalf of the senior citizen so that they avoid losing their home. It's fascinating. Fascinating, but it should be the last choice right. for and, seniors. And the way it works, as I understand it, is if the senior citizen qualifies, I believe it's over the age of 62, yes. they can defer paying. When the home is sold, then the state is reimbursed. Then the state is reimbursed for the cost. So it eats away or it absorbs the equity of the home. And that's not... A, a, a thing that you really, really want right. to do. However, if you're losing your home and you haven't paid your property tax for five years, the assessor will come in and take the property right. and put it up for auction. And the last thing we want is our seniors, you know, who have dedicated right. their lives over the years to not have a home. What's we want to protect that. What's interesting is this provision had been on the books but was repealed for a time. It was repealed in 2009, right? and so we brought it back. You know, there was a thing called Proposition 8 where the property values went down, ah. the assessed values went down, right. all of a sudden they're going up. You know, property values throughout the state of California has increased. $4.9 right. trillion, dollars? Yeah. and that's a good thing for our economy, sure. but it's not a good thing for our seniors, those on disability, our veterans, and right. so forth. We need to do more to help them. I will say this, though. It's important that our viewers know that each county has the option to adopt 2231. The, it's not a statewide mandate. Absolutely, Brad. It's not a statewide mandate. L.A. County is in the process of adopting it. They were very supportive. Okay. A number of the counties were very, very supportive. We will list every county that has been supported uh, on our on our website. We're encouraging all of them to help out help our seniors and so forth. Are there any counties who have affirmatively declined? There are some. Really? I mean, in the past. Well, okay. Not yet. In the past. I see. You know, I believe it was. Oh, I don't want to say okay. county without being but, for sure. But, but there were but a there, few counties. There are quite a few that said no. Okay, let's talk know. about another program for senior citizens, and that under Prop 60 and Prop 90. Explain how a senior citizen could keep his or her tax base if they move. Well, Brad, as you know, I believe Proposition 13 was a godsend for senior citizens. It capped the, the, the rate at 1%. It mm -hmm. capped the increase at 2%. Right. Then you bring in Proposition 60 and Proposition 90, which allows you to transfer that reduced rate when you sell your home so that you can you go in and you buy another home in, a, in another county right. if that county cooperates. Then you're able to transfer your base and keep your low property tax, which is a good good thing. And because 60 many, allows you to keep it within the county. Many uh, homes, especially uh, those owned by our senior citizens, right. they had that pre-Prop 13 base. Right. And, and we want to keep it for them. Right. <laughs> you and, know what I mean? and so let's talk about the intricacies, though, because Prop 60 allows within one county. So if you right. move from, I don't know, LA to Palmdale, you're fine. But Prop 90 is a little different. Let's think about our friends who move from LA to the Coachella Valley. You got to be careful. You got to right. you got to go to our website, right. see if Chiquilla Valley right. is one of the right. counties that have because a, Palm a Desert, you know, Palm Springs, that's Riverside County. I, I yeah. think they do. I'm not 100 percent sure. I should be careful. Yeah. But it is. You, you don't want to make assumptions. Right. Be it Prop 90 or Prop. AB 2231 or, or Prop 60. Yeah. Now, has LA County adopted Prop 60? LA County has. And Prop 90. Prop I 90. Both have been in effect okay. for a lot. And they quite will, 223. And lots yeah. of numbers, but very important. Just yeah. go to the website, boe.ca.gov. That's it. His <laughs> name is Jerome Morton. He's chair of the Board of Equalization in California. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's Time Warner Cable's local edition.